This is Tuesday, and his best friend, Luis Montalvan. Luis is a former army captain and decorated veteran who served two tours in Iraq. For four years, he was surrounded by violence and death. When you're in the profession of combat arms, you're expected to be tough and, and deal with it and take care of your soldiers. And I really neglected to take care of myself. Luis came home with a serious spinal injury and psychic scars that tormented him day and night. You know, transitioning out of the military is, is, it can be a diff difficult thing. Um, I mean, I'd been in the military a long time, and um, coming to New York, I'd never lived in New York. Um, this is, uh, I mean, it's New York. Trying to rebuild his life on his own was a real challenge. In 2008, the promise of help arrived in an email from the Wounded Warrior Project, which offered to pair veterans with mental and physical disabilities with trained service dogs. Well, the latter portion of 2008, I got Tuesday, and he, he has been, I mean, a, a godsend. Tuesday, stand. Good boy. Look, get my shoes. That's it. Good boy, bring it here. Tuesday's retrieval talents spare Louis painful bending and lifting. Good boy. Look, go get the other one. Such a good boy. Oh, good boy. Yes. You're so good. Such a good puppy. He helps me with balance. I've had some issues with balance where before I before I got him, I fell. I fell down a flight of subway steps. It was pretty bad. So he offers me um, a sense of equilibrium as I walk that's tremendously helpful. Easy. Step. Good boy. And once in the subway, Tuesday helps Luis keep his mental balance. There are a lot of people around, and it, it, uh, it's unnerving because it reminds me of some boy. incident in Iraq. Psychiatric service dogs are trained to recognize changes in a person's breathing, perspiration, or scent that can signal the onset of a flashback or panic attack. He'll tilt his head back and look at me and, and sort of smile and maybe lick me and ask me to pet him. And it, it takes me out of the past and it brings me into the present. I feel better about going out. By keeping Luis from dwelling on memories of Iraq and in the present, Tuesday gets him to the VA and to his graduate journalism classes at Columbia. But Tuesday is far more than a well-trained therapist. He's a great dog. And just by being a great dog, he can unleash oxytocin in all who return his loving gaze. Tuesday is beloved at, uh, at Columbia, and, and he's beloved at the VA. Veterans love to see him. He, he says hello, and he, he has a remarkable way of changing their disposition. Um, and they even just say that, you know, I'm, I feel so much better now. Down. Belly. Oh, you should watch a big room. Oh. He has allowed me to get out of my apartment. You know, where I used to spend an inordinate amount of time alone, stewing in my thoughts. He, you know, he's a dog. He needs to go out. And at the end of their long days, Tuesday even reminds Luis to take his medicine. Good boy. With Tuesday curled up next to him, Luis is able to fall into a healing sleep, knowing that Tuesday will wake him at the slightest hint of a nightmare. And so, our long, long journey with the dog finds us back at the beginning, when they protected us from dangers beyond our campfires. Only now, we're asking them to protect us from enemies within.